The C-130J Super Hercules, renowned for its unparalleled versatility and reliability, has been a cornerstone of military transport for decades, offering enhanced performance with state-of-the-art technology, faster climb, and cruise speeds, and the ability to operate in diverse and austere environments worldwide. But, as tempting as it sounds, in this video, we are not going to talk about it, but another aircraft that is going to dethrone it, the Embraer C-390. Find out in this episode of Flagavia why C-390 is going to change the industry, how it will destroy C-130J. But before we start, to help us improve our channel, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet so that we can build the channel together. Thank you so much. Now, let's dive in. First up, to grasp the significance of the C-390's popularity, it's essential to revisit Embraer's history with military jets. Embraer, a prominent Brazilian company known for manufacturing a variety of aircraft, pivoted in 1969 to concentrate on military aircraft for the Brazilian Air Force. In April 2007, Embraer announced its intention to develop a mid-sized twin-jet military aircraft, with the goal of replacing aging cargo planes with a modern, technologically advanced alternative. The inspiration for this new aircraft was drawn heavily from their Embraer 190. Originally designated as the C-390, the aircraft was subsequently renamed to KC-390 to reflect its capability to perform air-to-air -air refueling operations for other planes. By May 2008, the Brazilian government had invested over $460 million in its development. Come April 2009, Embraer secured a $1.5 billion contract to construct two prototypes, initiating production with the backing of the Brazilian Air Force. Following rigorous testing of the prototypes, the aircraft, dubbed the C-390 Millennium, was unveiled in 2019. It was strategically designed to contend with and potentially supplant Lockheed Martin's C-130 Super Hercules cargo jets, a significant feat considering the C-130's long-standing prominence in the aviation market. Embraer's jet had to prove its mettle as a viable primary option for military cargo transportation, and with the C-390 Millennium, Embraer has done just that. The C-390 Millennium is a versatile utility cargo aircraft engineered to be easily configurable for a diverse range of mission profiles. Its design allows for quick transitions between various internal and external configurations to meet specific mission needs. Enhanced with cutting-edge technology, including Rockwell Collins Proline Fusion Avionics and sophisticated mission software, the C-390 offers superior efficiency and user-friendliness over previous generations. While recognizing the strengths of other aircraft, the C-390 distinguishes itself through its comprehensive suite of modern capabilities. The aircraft comes fully loaded with state-of-the-art technology to optimize its functionality. The C-390 is equipped with a fly-by-wire flight control system and active side sticks, enabling it to handle a load factor of up to 3G. Its wing flaps are operated hydraulically, backed by an electrical system for reliability. The aircraft's nose is designed to be short and downward sloping, enhancing the pilot's field of view. The cockpit features industry standard avionics from the Rockwell Collins Proline Fusion Suite, similar to those in Embraer's legacy 450 and 500 business jets. Both the pilot and co-pilot have access to head-up displays that are part of an advanced vision system, which includes four cameras and is night vision goggle compatible. It's aerodynamic design with extended slats and flight spoilers that can be deployed to 40 degrees allows for a rapid descent rate of 9,000 feet per minute at a maximum indicated airspeed of 560 kilometers per hour. The aircraft's stall speed is 193 kilometers per hour with flaps deployed at 40 degrees. It is capable of operating from semi-prepared runways, even with pits up to 40 centimeters deep. The spacious cargo bay measures 18.5 meters in length, 3.45 meters in width, and 2.95 meters in height. With a maximum payload capacity of 26 tons, the C-390 can transport a variety of loads, including two M113 tracked armored personnel carriers, a VBTPMR Gorani wheeled armored vehicle, a UH-60 helicopter, 74 stretchers with life support equipment, up to 80 soldiers or 66 paratroopers fully equipped. The C-390 is also outfitted with a computer-aided release system from Rockwell Collins, which grants the pilot or co-pilot the capability to manage the rear ramp, thereby 
rendering the role of a loadmaster unnecessary. Equipped with Cobham PLC's 912E fuel delivery system, the aircraft is adept at in-flight refueling, utilizing two wing-mounted probes and drogues to transfer fuel at rates up to 1,500 liters per minute, within a speed range of 220 to 560 kilometers per hour. Additionally, the Brazilian C-390SS are fortified with a defensive suite that includes radar and missile warning systems, along with chaff and flare dispensers, courtesy of Elbit Systems. In 2011, Embraer revealed plans to create a civilian version of the KC-390, featuring a lengthened fuselage. The C-390 is manned by a three-person crew, including a pilot, co-pilot, and loadmaster. The dimensions of the aircraft are 35.2 meters in length, 35.05 meters across the wings, and 11.84 meters tall. It has a maximum takeoff weight of approximately 87 tons. The aircraft is powered by two 139.4 kilonewton YAEV 2500E5 turbofan engines. It can reach a top speed of 988 kilometers per hour and has a cruising speed of 870 kilometers per hour. The service ceiling is around 11,000 meters or 36,000 feet. With a 23-ton cargo, the range is 28-20 kilometers, and with a 26-ton cargo, it reduces to 21-10 kilometers. So how will this aircraft dethrone the mighty C-130? Actually, the C-390 was not the first to challenge the C-130, but another French-German joint military transport aircraft, the C-160 Transal. The C-130 Hercules easily outperformed the C-160 Transal in both terms of reliability and capability. Lockheed's production capacity in the U.S. far exceeded that of its European competitors, allowing for large-scale production at reduced costs during the initial Cold War period. This efficiency rendered the C-130 more economically viable. Moreover, as the U.S. Air Force adopted newer and more advanced Hercules models, the U.S. government distributed the superseded variants to allied nations at nominal costs or as complementary assets. Such strategic advantages were unmatched by the C-160, which could not rival the Hercules on these fronts. However, the picture is different for the C-390. In today's environment, U.S. aviation companies are not positioned to mass-produce aircraft at low costs, given their focus on high profit margins. Embraer has projected a global demand for 695 million military transport aircraft over the next decade to replace outdated fleets, a demand that Lockheed Martin's production of the Super Hercules is unlikely to meet. Despite Lockheed Martin's capacity for increased production due to its technological and financial advantages, such expansion is not deemed economically viable. Furthermore, the era of Washington providing surplus transport aircraft at minimal or no cost to allies is over as they seek replacements for their aging C-130s. Moreover, the C-390 stands competitively in the market with a unit cost significantly lower than that of its main competitor, the C-130J. It surpasses the Super Hercules with the ability to transport over 7 tons more cargo and boasts greater speed. The C-390's YAEV 2500 turbofan engines shared with the Airbus A320 simplify maintenance and spare parts acquisition. Although the C-130J maintains advantages in range, extensive global service support, and political backing from Washington, the market still presents substantial opportunities for Embraer's C-390 to carve out its niche. Additionally, a comparison between the C-390 and the C-130 Hercules also shows the C-390 represents a significant evolution in military transport. The C-130 has been a reliable workhorse since 1956, renowned for its robustness and adaptability, and has been the airlifter of choice for numerous military forces. The C-390, however, stands out as a strong contender, particularly with its greater payload capacity and modern technological features. While both aircraft are comparable in their ability to transport transport passengers and pallets, the C-390's payload capacity of 57,000 pounds notably surpasses the C-130's 42,000 pounds by more than 15%. This is also apparent in the maximum takeoff weight, with the C-390's 87-ton capacity exceeding the C-130's 70 tons. Such comparisons underscore the C-390 millennium as a contemporary, efficient, and proficient aircraft, meeting the demanding operational needs of current military forces and establishing itself as a top selection in the international military transport aircraft market. In terms of performance, the C-390 millennium significantly outshines the older C-130 Hercules, propelled by its superior engineering and contemporary technological advancements. The C-390's propulsion is provided by two V-2500 
100 E5 turbofan engines, enabling it to achieve a cruise speed of 540 miles per hour and a top speed of 615 miles per hour. On the other hand, the C-130's quartet of Allison T-56, a 15 turboprop engines, offers a comparable cruise speed of about 540 miles per hour, but a lower maximum speed of 592 miles per hour. When it comes to range, the C390 also excels, capable of covering 2,710 nautical miles under standard conditions and reaching up to 3,370 nautical miles on ferry flights without payload. This extended range capability was demonstrated when six C390s successfully completed a 1,350 nautical mile round trip transporting 500 tons and 1,000 passengers in less than two days, marking a 40% speed improvement over the C-130. The C-390 also distinguishes itself in the realm of maintainability. Aircraft with fewer engines typically incur lower operational and maintenance costs, and the C-390's twin-engine setup is more cost-effective than the C-130's four-engine configuration. This translates to savings in both parts and labor, as well as shorter periods of maintenance downtime. These maintenance efficiencies are particularly attractive to military forces that must adhere to strict budgetary constraints. The C-390's reduced maintenance demands, along with its sophisticated systems, are key contributors to its competitively low life cycle cost. Embraer asserts that the C-390 boasts the most economical life cycle cost in its class, a claim supported by its integration of state-of-the-art technologies such as Collins Aerospace's Proline Fusion Avionics. These advancements not only improve the aircraft's performance, but also simplify maintenance routines, leading to further cost reductions. And from all of these advancements, we can somehow see what the future holds for the C-390. The Hungarian Air Force's inaugural C-390. Millennium Aircraft recently completed its maiden flight at Gavia Pesoto, with Embraer's defense security team piloting the flight for about four hours to conduct comprehensive evaluations. This successful test precedes a series of trials the aircraft will undergo before it joins the Hungarian Defense Forces, which will notably be the first to equip the C-390 with an intensive care unit, enhancing its capability for humanitarian missions. Embraer's vision extends to the Asian market, as evidenced by South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration selecting the C-390 for its large Transport Tactical Aircraft II program, marking the company's initial foray into Asia after securing European and Middle Eastern customers in 2023. Embraer Defense and Security is actively forging partnerships, as demonstrated by a Memorandum of Understanding with India's Mahindra Group to explore the acquisition of the C-390 Millennium for the Indian Air Force. This collaboration aims to strengthen the Air Force's operational capacity and align with India's Make in India initiative. Since its service debut with the Brazilian Air Force in 2019 and subsequent adoption by the Portuguese Air Force in 2023, the C-390 has amassed over 11,500 flight hours, boasting an 80% operational capability and a mission completion rate exceeding 99%. The aircraft's versatility is further highlighted by its selection by multiple countries and its proficiency in diverse missions, from troop transport to medical evacuation and aerial refueling, showcasing its adaptability to various runway conditions. The C-390's global appeal is growing, with the Angolan National Air Force expressing interest in acquiring four units to modernize its fleet, and discussions underway with Colombia for up to 12 aircraft. Egypt is also considering the C-390, following bilateral agreements with Embraer. The Greek Air Force is evaluating the C-390 as a potential successor to its aging C-130 fleet, while Sweden contemplates a multi-unit purchase. Potential customers like Rwanda and South Africa are also in talks, indicating the C-390's rising prominence in the international military aviation sector. And that's all for today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more aviation information.